Hello and a very warm welcome to Adipex Energy Dialogue Interviews with me, your host, Rebecca McLaughlin-Easton. In this series, we'll bring you exclusive insights, conversations and thoughts from some of the biggest names in the global energy industry. All of this against the backdrop of Adipex 2022, which will take place in Abu Dhabi from the 31st of October until November the 3rd. Today, my special guest is Khalid al Mogarbel, the Executive Vice President of Geographies for Slumberger. Thank you so much for joining me from Paris today. It's really my pleasure to be here with you. Khalid, let me start by asking you about Slumberger itself, because established back in 1926 as an oil field services company, it of course went on to become the world's largest offshore drilling company. Talk to me therefore about your priorities for the year ahead and how the company is positioned for its next phase of growth. We are now working through three main engines in our strategy for the years ahead. The first one is continue to focus on our core. That's the largest engine of our business. This is where we contribute a lot to the, to the industry. And uh, that's uh, continue to be very exciting in the current upcycle that we are seeing right now. The second engine, which is not in any way less exciting, it's, it's the digital engine. That digital engine is something we're very proud on. We have moved, uh, quite a bit on it uh, in, in creating more solutions, focusing on the low carbon, but also focusing on the efficiency. And the third one is the new energy era. We have uh, five identified uh, businesses that we are now seeding. And this is obviously going to expand and grow on a slightly longer horizon. Adnock recently awarded five drilling service deals, described as the biggest of their kind for the industry, worth around $1.83 billion. Slumberger was on the recipient list, so talk to me about what the deal means for your company, but also about that long-standing relationship which has spanned more than seven decades with the UAE. We are thrilled. We've been uh, serving the UAE and Adnock for 70 years, and we plan to serve it for the next 70 years. So we are very, very happy to be part of this major award. This was not the only award we got this year. I think we have uh, multi-billion awards now altogether with, with other categories, and we expect more to come. Uh, it's a testimony of our performance, a testimony of our relationship. It's a testimony of our commitment to the in country value and uh, creating uh, value in general for ADNOC. Keeping with partnerships and staying with your ties to the United Arab Emirates, in particular Abu Dhabi, talk to me about the programs that you have, the ongoing programs to nurture and foster talent within the industry. Great question, uh, Rebecca. We uh, recruit from where we operate is really our DNA. This is ingrained on what we do and it's part of our uh, strategy and our belief. And we are going to continue to do that. We have uh, an ambition to recruit 100 local Emiratis on a yearly basis. And uh, we have a great program to do that. We are also uh, launching uh, special programs on knowledge sharing and customized training with uh, the UAE University Ambassador Program with ADNOC National Development Program, and also with the Mumbadala Integrated Training Program, three specific programs that we launched to add to our recruiting effort. We are very proud of this training center. It's in Abu Dhabi, and it's one of our crown jewels in operation. Of course, we've talked about the many opportunities that are a result of this new era for energy and digitalization, but what about the challenges? What are the, the greatest obstacles or, or headwinds facing your business in the years ahead? We are collaborating with partners around the world, and we are in a great position. There are two specific things that I would like to bring to your attention that we are doing in UAE. One, we will launch what we call an innovation factory. We have a handful of those around the world. Innovation Factory is uh, uh, having uh, people focusing on AI applications, creating fit for purpose efficiencies in the country. We also have a great partnership with uh, 
AIQ and G42 in Abu Dhabi. And we are working on many solutions on machine learnings and uh, collaboration to help in uh, artificial intelligence, in uh, solutions, and many other things. And, and you will hear more of those as they come uh, ready to, to, to talk about. So we are very, very excited about the digital era and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big piece of our growth. We very much look forward to hearing more about it on the ground at ADIPEC this October. Tell me, what are your expectations going into the event? What are you most looking forward to? My expectations are very high as usual from ADIPEC. ADIPEC has been one of the most attended conferences around the world. In not only in oil and gas, it, it kind of the place to be. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, Shlomo Jay will participate in a big way. We have a couple of nice surprises over there. I leave it for that time. I look forward uh, to see lots of the colleagues and the friends and uh, continue to learn. And there we have to leave things, sadly, Khaled. Thank you so much for joining me from Paris today. Thank you very much. Looking forward to Adipec in a few weeks. Bye for now. Well, that is a wrap of today's show. We do hope you enjoyed watching and join me again next time for another in-depth interview with a heavyweight from the global energy sector. Until we meet again, do follow Adipec on social media for updates about this October's event. And until then, I'll see you next time and goodbye.